Welcome to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I'm your host, Kavita, and the founder of Power Purpose Play, a global community of women in midlife. I'm here to tell you that it's your time now to rediscover what has always been inside of you and bring that out into the world. If you're wondering what's next, but don't know quite what that is, or if you feel a twinge in your heart telling you that you have so much more to do and so much more to offer, you're in the right place. Ask yourself, if not now, when? Do you want to leave your job? Start your own business? Take control of your health? Reignite the passion in your marriage? Write that book, or at least that first chapter? Transitions like this can be daunting, but through listening to my story and interviews with incredible women every week, I hope to inspire you to take action. I rediscovered myself after the age of 50, and I know you can too. It's my time now to help you do just that. I'm so excited you're here. Let's dive in. Hi, everyone. Kavita here. How are you doing? I hope everybody's doing well today. And uh, I just wanted to welcome you to a special episode of the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I wanted to share with you some thoughts I had and just to check in with you as well to see how you are enjoying the podcast And uh, I'd love to get your feedback on that as well. I received a congratulatory email today reminding me that we have published 10 episodes already of this podcast. And I honestly am so thrilled and happy to bring this to you and to have achieved this milestone. I'm so thoroughly enjoyed speaking to our guests and bringing this podcast to you to hear stories of how these women have overcome obstacles to reinvent themselves is so inspiring and motivating. So I hope you've enjoyed them and I had to bring them to you. So I want to stress to you that regardless of your age or your circumstances, you can do anything you set your mind to. I never thought I would have started a podcast, let alone have already published 10 episodes. So I can tell you firsthand, it can be done. To some, 10 episodes may not seem like much, but to me, it reminds me of how if we really want something in our lives, we can achieve it. It also got me thinking about achievements and how, as a society, we're so often conditioned to compare ourselves to one another. For those of you who may not know me or may be new to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast, let me maybe back up a little bit and tell you who I am and why I created this podcast. My name is Kavita Ahuja, and I am a 54-year-old South Asian woman. I was born in Kenya and raised in Canada. I have two beautiful sons, aged 24 and 21, and my husband and I have been married for almost 28 years. As an Indian woman, I've led a pretty traditional life in that we were encouraged, my two older sisters and I, by our parents who came to Canada in 1968 to get a good education, marry well, have children, and pursue a steady career. All good and respectable things, and seeing the big Moves that they made across continents, struggling to make a life for themselves in a new country. Why wouldn't they encourage that? I suppose as I muse about my achievements or achievements in general, it's it's really from the societal lens because from that lens, I achieved all the all the things my parents expected of me and more. I got two degrees, I married really well, had a great corporate career for over 25 years, and have two wonderful children. So from societal standards, I had it all, and I did for sure, and I'm so grateful for my solid upbringing and for all that I have. But I want us to think of our achievements not from societal standards, but really from our own inner compass. When we put benchmarks on ourselves for what we want to achieve, I think that is so much more important. Then we don't compare ourselves to others. We just try to improve ourselves for the sake of improving ourselves. Does that make sense? I hope it does. At the age of around 50, I began to have a twinge in my soul telling me that something was missing. I couldn't quite put my finger on it because as I was just explained, I had achieved what by societal standards was enough. Why was I unfulfilled? Was I crazy? Yet this feeling wouldn't go away until it grew so loud in my head that I just couldn't ignore it. Now I know that This is a very common feeling, especially now after going through it. I know it's a very common feeling, especially with women in midlife. Anywhere from, let's say, 40 and above, we begin to question our identity, our worth, our accomplishments, and thoughts of, 
who am I and why am I here come up. This isn't only a female phenomenon, of course, but generally as women at this stage we are going through in life, unique transitions happen. For example, our kids may leave the nest. We may, we may be going through menopause. We may divorce or experience death of our parents, or maybe become caregivers of our parents. Or may, we may have careers that don't fulfill us any longer. And these triggers cause us to reevaluate our lives. This can be very unsettling, scary, depressing even. Or we can look at these trigger points as opportunities for growth. I decided that I would look at it from the perspective of excitement and opportunity. And that's why I created a new business, Power Purpose Play, for women just like me and for you who are going through midlife and experiencing these changes and wondering and asking ourselves these questions and who are unsure of what to do next. I want to tell women like you that you have the power within you to do anything you set your mind to. You have the ability to find your true purpose or calling, and you need to find time for play. Enjoy every moment of this life we have. So I could never have imagined where this journey has taken me and and how totally, utterly fulfilled I could feel It's really, truly amazing how by listening to that voice inside and acting inside of me and acting upon it, how our lives can really change. So I started this business when the pandemic started. And ironically, as a result of it being online, I have met so many amazing people from all over the world that I would never have thought possible. I've learned so much. I've grown so much as an individual. I wanted to create a community for women such as you to come to support for support and encouragement and resources. And I've done that. In just over a year, I've built this community, grown it, ran workshops with incredible experts. I ran a three-day online conference. I've launched this podcast with 10 episodes already. What? Me? Starting a podcast? I never would have imagined. But I've done it. I am pursuing my also my love of writing. I have articles published. I was nominated for an entrepreneurship award by Women of Influence. Now I'll be launching an online course to teach you how I was able to rediscover and reinvent myself after the age of 50. I'm putting this all together in my, all my learnings in one place so that you can do the same. I'm so excited about that. And I'm also, another thing I'm doing is currently studying to become a professional certified coach in life transitions. So in, in just about over a year, I've achieved a lot and I'm really proud of myself. And you might be thinking right now, did she really say that? Boy, she's really high on herself. I am proud of myself and you should be proud of yourself too. As women, we don't talk about our achievements enough. We don't celebrate our successes enough, or even we don't even talk about them for fear of what will people think. Shout it out from the rooftops, my friend. You have done so much already, even if you don't think you have. In fact, I'd like you to stop right now and write down 10 things you've already done, which you're proud of. Just 10. Then tell five people about those 10 things. See how you'll feel. It makes it feel, you feel so great. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not entirely comfortable coming on today talking about my achievements, but who cares? I'm doing this because by being uncomfortable right now, I'm growing. I'm more confident in saying, yes, I have achieved this. I may not be the most popular podcast in the world or have as many downloads as the next person or have as many followers or have as many people on my email list, et cetera, et cetera. These are all the measurements that we compare ourselves to, but it doesn't matter. What matters to me is I am making a difference. Am I making a difference? As I'm asking you, am I helping even one person who perhaps listening to me right now and thinking, yeah, I can relate to this. I don't know exactly who this Kavita chick is, but I can relate to her. If I have done that, my friends, I have definitely succeeded. I also wanted to come on today to thank you for supporting me and for sharing this with your friends. I have been so fortunate to have incredible guests on the show um, who I hope you've learned from and enjoyed listening to. After every episode, I generally give the key takeaways from the interview, and I thought that I do What I do here is trying to give you the top takeaways from each episode so far, because each, every incredible guest that has been on the podcast has taught me so much. So I'll just give you a little bit of a snippet of the key takeaways. 
On episode one, I had the incredible Vicki Bradley on, and one of her key takeaways is take that path of your true potentiality, which is so critical, especially in our world today. It's so important to recognize what our purpose is because we are doing a disservice to those around us when we are not reaching our full potential. Sherry Clark says, courage doesn't mean doing unsafe things. Don't be afraid to peek out and push the edges. Push the door open before you fling it open. Isabel Fish, if you want to change things, start from a place where you have someone or a system that gives you the confidence to change and gives you the strength to face the obstacles. Robin Joy Myers, you always have a choice to take a chance to make a change. Belinda Clemenson, if not now, then when? And if not you, then who? Linda Rossetti, transitions include moments when there's a shift in what holds value and meaning to us. They require us to re-examine our assumptions about our identity, our capacity, and our values. Lisa Matan, it behooves us to go after our potential despite cultural or other forces where we ask ourselves, what will people think? Maria Leonard Olson, bloom where you are planted. I've enjoyed learning from these great women so much, and I can't wait to bring you even more amazing guests on this show. My biggest achievement, however, will be if I can help you to go through this time of your life, which can be scary, but to tell you that there's so much opportunity for you because you are awesome. I'd really love for you to reach out to me, send me a DM or a line at kavita at powerpurposeplay.ca and tell me what you'd like to, me to bring to you. Who would you like to hear from? What topics are of interest to you? I'm literally here to serve you, so please don't hesitate. And finally, one day, my friends, I'm going to have a big live party and you all are invited. Until then, celebrate your achievements. You are beautiful, you are amazing, and you need to shout that out from the rooftops. With so much love, stay safe and stay well. I hope you enjoyed this mini episode of the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. And if you did, do let me know so I can continue to provide my thoughts along with bringing you incredible guests every week to talk about their reinvention stories. I also wanted to tell you about a comprehensive online course that I'm creating called It's My Time Now, How to Rediscover Yourself in Midlife. This course is a curated program with me as your guide, which will give you a step-by-step -step process to finding your true calling. If you're interested in learning more or to be put on the waiting list, please email me at kavita at powerpurposeplay.ca. I'd be happy to provide more details. Also, you can join our free Facebook community at Power Purpose Play Global to keep updated on all that we are doing as a community. As always, I'm so grateful for you to share, rate, and review this podcast. It really does help us to reach out to more and more people globally. Thanks for listening and enjoy a beautiful week.